to our worship service and especially those who are watching us through live stream or YouTube. But this is the first time we actually got people here in church besides Sarah and Daryl and so it's great to see your smiling face and I'm just glad you're, you decided to come out. And again, those at home, if you, whenever you feel comfortable to come, you're welcome to come when you feel comfortable. Um, we're glad to be here this morning. For those that are watching on YouTube, I am Wayne Huber. I'm the pastor here at the United Methodist Church in beautiful Geta, South Dakota, and we're glad uh, you're worshiping with us and hope you are touched by our service this morning. And we welcome friends and remember how the psalmist proclaimed, in the great congregation I will praise the Lord. We invite everyone to unite in this joyous worship of our Creator, our Redeemer, our Sustainer. And let us join our hearts in praise and thanksgiving and love toward God beginning now. And I'd like to, just to lift a few announcements up for you this morning, especially those that are here this morning. We do not have pews or, or hymn notes or pew Bibles there, but if you'd like to take one for now, um, we are going to have words on the screen, but if you want to take one home and bring it every time you come to church, if you like the notes, some people like to find, find or follow along with the notes so we know uh, the songs we are singing. Anyway, if you want a hymn note or a faith we sing, let me know after church and I'll be happy to, to give you one. And that way, if you're not here, you worship at home too, but, uh, but when you come here, make sure you bring it back so you can use it, okay? Uh, let's see. Also, our Zoom Bible study is on Wednesday nights at 7 o'clock, and get a hold of either Linda, and, and she will set you up on that. There will be no UMW meeting this month, uh, and no UMW Sunday next Sunday. Uh, they did postpone the annual conference, so I will be here, and we'll have to reschedule all that, so I'll make sure when Lynn can uh, get together with the ladies, and uh, we'll let you know on that. We still have the love quilts up. If you'd like to donate in memory or appreciation of someone, you're welcome to do that. They're $5 for blanket. And let's see. For those that are on YouTube, watching or live stream, our bulletins are on the internet. Just make sure you print it off and you'd like to follow along with our service. You can. Uh, just, we're going to do something different today. Uh, I wasn't sure how many people were going to be here today. So we're going to remain seated for a lot of the the hymns and the call to and the call to worship and opening prayer, the gospel. We're gonna the two song hymns we're gonna be uh, watching. They're gonna be on the screen, but we're gonna listen to them on the CD. So and the tape. So you're welcome to sing along with them if you want to, or follow along with them. But we won't let you stand. We'll just let you be seated for those, and and then at the hymn after the sermon, we'll probably join together in doing that one. So anyway. Just a little bit different service today, but again, we're glad you're worshiping with us this morning. And I guess I have to ask, are there any other announcements that I need to lift up or we need to lift up this morning? We've got a birthday. Oh, that is right. Yes, happy birthday. Yes, Monica's birthday today. That's right. Yep, Janice. Yep, and then someone had an anniversary Friday. I've got to happy anniversary, Mick and Lynn. And so, yeah, I look at the calendar later on in the evening. I should look at it in the morning, but... But yes, happy birthday anniversary to all of you uh, that are celebrating this month. So that's great. And so, okay, let's now prepare our hearts and minds for worship. And by Noah to come and lead us in worship. Good morning. Um, we will start with the call to worship. It says. No one has ever seen God. If we love one another, God lives in us, and His love is perfect in us. Okay, and we'll move on to the hymn of praise, number 64, which is Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty.
You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come to be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, brought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day, we bless you. We praise your name forever. Keep us today, Lord, from all sin. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. We put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never hope in vain. Um, now for the hymn of faith, Come Thou Almighty King, number 61. Our second reading, which is the gospel, les gospel lesson, Matthew 28, 16 through 20. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Hey, we're going to do our children's sermon. Oh, there's JC. I don't know if she wants to come down. But we're going to do our children's sermon this morning. JC, you want to come down with it? It's up to you. All right, let's see. Let's get Jesus loves me as she comes forward. I'm a little scared that they made me a little nervous now having people here. You know, before it was just Daryl and Sarah, and now you guys are here. I have to behave myself. But it's so great to have people to preach to rather than pictures, you know. So, will you pray with me?
Now may the words of my mouth and the meditation of all of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O Lord. For you are our rock, and you are our Redeemer. Amen. A promise is made. Children are born to old and barren. People are delivered out of captivity. A nation is born. A prophet speaks of hope and light amidst the world of despair and darkness. A Messiah is born. And yet the promise seems to remain largely unfulfilled. And the final fulfillment of the promise continues to challenge us our thinking. And this promise then is very marble. Even today, we cannot fathom what it is, what it would be like if we are fulfilled. Now, the promise made to Abraham in the Old Testament, do you remember the saying that now the Lord said to Abram, Go from your country, go from your kindred, from your family from your father's house to the land that I will show you. And then God says that I will bless those who bless you and those who curse you, I will curse them. And I in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed. It is not just a promise of a land or identity, national identity, but you see it's a promise that the entire world will be blessed through Abraham. Now in Matthew's Gospel that Noah read to us, it tells us the time is now. In many ways, the fulfilled promise had become little more than a fond memory in the museum of human mind. But Jesus, the descendant of Abraham, took that promise off the shelf. He breathed new life into it, and he sent his followers to go and fulfill that promise. Now we are sent into the world to go out there and make disciples, and invite people in that relationship then with God, whose promise we rely on. And we need to baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And this baptism, you see, brings with it an invitation into new fellowship and a new place, belonging. You see, we belong to God, whose plan of salvation is being worked through us. And you see, we're also challenged to teach and to go and to instruct people of how to live a Christian life. We do not bring people into fellowship and faith and set them loose. No, we have to train them. It's kind of like when you raised your kids. You know, you didn't came, you didn't come, kids didn't come with a manual. You had to learn how to raise your kids. And most of you did a great job raising your kids. But it took a lot of work to do that. And that's how we do it with with making new disciples. We need to train them how to be disciples. You know, it's not just having another Bible study or a Christian discipleship class. It is challenging us to be in relationship with people and then let the relationship themselves foster into the environment where the new believers or sometimes even old believers soak up the teachings of the Messiah of Christ. I remember hearing about a United Methodist missionary uh, once addressed this issue. And when they asked her, how did you, because she was in a big missionary in a, the state country she was in was really more Muslim faith. And, but she responded that she had to, first of all, have a relationship with those people. And then have them and listen to their stories. Because everyone has a story to tell. 
And when people have felt that they have been heard and are in in relationship, they are more receptive of hearing a witness of a new friend. You know, a lot of times we want to say, hey, I'm Wayne Huber, I'm the pastor, are you a Christian? And that kind of runs people off. You have to first become their friends and trust them and hear their story. And then you can witness to these people. Do not be deceived, however, into thinking that the promise is really accidentally on us. You see, Jesus' final words remind us that it is not of our power that disciples are made. But you see, disciples are made through the power and authority of Christ himself. And the ultimate fulfillment of the promise made to Abraham comes in Christ himself. Christ is a blessing to all the world. And it is the final, final, finally through Christ that we hear the words of the psalmist when he says from Psalm 8.1, O oh Lord, our sovereign, how majestic is your name. God called Abraham to keep that promise. And that's passed down through generations to generation. And now it's our turn to go and spread the love of Christ, especially in this time, the way the world is so chaotic right now, to go out and share the love of God to others. Will you join me in doing that? Let us pray. Holy God, you have given us grace. And by the confession of faith of your holy church to acknowledge the mystery of the eternal eternity and in the power of your divine majesty to worship the unity. Keep us steadfast in this faith and worship and bring us at last to see in your eternal glory one God now and forever. Amen. And now we're going to join in our hymn of faith, our hymn of response, Standing on the Promises. And now I'll let you stand, if you would please, and join me in singing Standing on the Promises.
believe in God the Father, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and stated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty, from then he should come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And now we'll sing our glory of As we now come to our, our time of prayer, are there joys or concerns this morning? I want to lift up. I'm glad you're all here this morning. That's great. And especially those that are watching, I'm glad you guys are, are home safe and watching. So, is there any other joys or any other concerns right now? All right. Okay. Again, lift up those people that are going through some violent times with the the protesters and, and everything that's going on in the world. We need to lift those up. Uh, uh, lift up uh, those with the coronavirus, all our medical people that help others uh, during the time of illness as well. So let us go to God in prayer. And holy, invisible, and all-powerful God, in whose kingdom time as we know it, is relative and, and sometimes without meaning as we understand it. We who are always in a hurry come today seeking a glimpse of your timely and timeless kingdom of truth. And with the boldness born of at least a casual company with Jesus, we who are such powerless, earthbound creatures, shackled with ignorance and of limited vision. We pray for some meaningful contact with you, the unknowable God of the universe, beyond our imagination and of our knowledge. And if we are brash, it is not because of disrespectful. You see, it's because that we are friends of a Savior who had convinced us that he not only knows you well, but also is your son. It is in this place, or in his name, that we pray today. Show us, O oh God, as much of your purpose as we stand to know. Include us in your mysteries so that we may participate even in things that we don't understand. We do not pray for unlimited knowledge, but we pray for enough knowledge to save us from unlimited ignorance and faith to fill the empty space. And gracious God, we do want to lift up our country and all around the world where violence has been breaking out. And again, Lord, be with those people that are just been very scared of all of this and be with the peacemakers and be with all the law enforcement, be with 
everyone, oh God, through this time of trial. And Lord, also, we want to lift up also those that are fighting this coronavirus. And again, Lord, we do want to be safe. And But again, be with all of us. We, we need to put all our fears into you, and you will take care of it. And Lord, we want to lift up especially those on our prayer and concern list this week. We lift up this morning Ellis Bedford, which is Sue's great nephew in England, and Don Lucas, Harriet Adele, Bertha Crichton, Neil Raisby, and George Schroeder, and others medical issues that people have, as well as that on our hearts and our minds. Lord, we lift up our area farmers as they plant and be with them that they may be safe. And also, Lord, we lift up our bishop and our district superintendents and our Dakota Conference, and we lift up the churches, the pastors and lay leadership of the churches of Kimbo and Langford and Leola and Northwestern, and Philip, and Piedmont. Again, Lord, be with those pastors that will be retiring this year, and we have two from our congregation, uh, Pastor Royal Archer will be retiring, as well as Reverend Randy Spar will be retiring. And again, be with them and their families, and, and I know God, you have the plans for them. And Lord, uh, we lift up also our, our you know, the cabinet as most of them will be retiring, and, and people from the conference will be retiring, and again, lift all these people up. Be with those pastors that will be going through moving and going through new changes in their lives as well. And Lord, just be with all of us in this time of, of, of change. But knowing that you are the same forever. And Lord, we lift all this up to you as we now join together in the prayer you taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And this is the time that we do our tithes and offerings, so I'll have the ushers uh, do, if you haven't put your offering in the plate yet, uh, or haven't mailed it in, that's where it is, but we're going to have time to do our offering right now. the doxology please and your motherly nurture. Jesus, our Redeemer, we call you Lord and submit our lives to be your disciples. Holy Spirit, our sustainer, we need your guidance to encourage to lead us on. And Lord, now bless these offerings that may be used now in the ministry of this church. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
again, we'll do our benediction and our uh, congregational benediction song, but those are on, on live stream. Again, we're glad you're worshiping with us, and please continue to watch us. We'll continue to, to do our live stream worship and YouTube service. We see now our Lord's benediction. And may now the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And all God's people said, Amen. Let's join together now in our benediction song. All the comments today. Yeah, <laughs> Online, I know. Warren, excuse me, I'm going to see if I need to.